Ladies and gentlemen, a few months back, I happened to do a review of Freedom by Bandmate. The funny thing is that when I did that review, I was actually very brand new to Bandmate. I was just getting into their music and a lot of people loved that review. If you see the comments, look at the comments. The comments were just like beautiful review, great review. Even though I love reactions, I love re uh, this review is amazing. So I thought I should do another review for another Bandmate song that I have never heard. Reactions are awesome, but you know, reviews allow you to like re-listen to the song over and over again and dissect the song up. So today I'm going to be reviewing Daydreaming, courtesy of uh, someone who requested for this one. Yes, someone by the name of D last one to go, the last one to go told me it's refreshing to find a review actually being a review. Subscribed, it'd be great if you can review their softer rock ballad Daydreaming. So I'm like, uh, what do you mean softer? I, 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 the first time I read that comment, I was like, Bandmate have also done soft rock. Are you telling me that they have done soft rock? I was very eager to hear this track and today that's what we are going to be reviewing. All right, so I checked out the official music video for this track and there's a lot I have to say. First of all, the song opens up with like a very sad... anime opening type kind of sound it sounded like something that could be played i've watched very many episodes of bleach and one piece so whenever i hear certain sounds i equate them very quickly to anime i think if you're an anime lover you can definitely say that there are a lot of times you listen to bandmate and you hear you know a, a certain melody that sounds like it would be in anime then uh, the riff that they use in this song is very reminiscent of 2000s bands <laughs> You know bands from hard especially hard rock bands from the 2000s there's a certain riff they use in this track it's very it sounds like you know like very chilled but also kind of very sad you could tell from the tone of this song that it's going to be something very sad uh it's going to be a very sad theme within the song the lead singer starts to sing you can tell that typically in a band made song when they sing they go for energy but this time she's going going more for emotion <laughs> And she's singing very strongly with the intent of, you know, conveying emotion, not really conveying, you know, like very fast paced type of energy or very hard eating energy. She's conveying more of like an emotion through the music and it's not really meant to be very energetic. It's meant to convey more of emotion, more than energy. And then at around the one minute, 13 second mark of this song is one of the most unique riffs I've ever heard from Bandmate. That riff right there is one of the most unique riffs I've ever heard from Bandmate and yes, I've gotten to listen to more Bandmate since my last review and I have never had a riff like that. The riff sounds like, it's very starry, it's like, it's like stars are glistening and you can hear like It's like a very, very unique type of riff from Bandmate that I've never had before. After that specific riff, you get to hear a bit of bass from Misa, which comes through very in the song very nicely, also showing that the production quality of this song is actually very good when you can hear the bass very nicely. And then after that, I start to notice more of the, vid of the videography from the music video. I start to notice certain elements like the rundown building that they are playing in front of. And then I also notice that Saiki, the lead singer, she's singing into the train and the other band members are not in a train. She's the only one in a train. And she's singing alone, which made me realize this song is probably talking about some type of loneliness, you know, like someone has left her, the, the, you know, like the feelings of being alone, which made me, you know, start googling the, the lyrics and it turns out I was very right. When I checked out the lyrics for this song, I saw that, you know, it says, daydreaming, don't wake me up. There's nothing I can do with a hoarse voice. Stay next to me tonight. Hold on, feel my soul. When she says, uh, there's nothing I can do with a hoarse voice, it sounds like she's saying, you know, she's like yelling for this guy not to leave her. And, you know, he's pulling away and she wants him to stay with him. That's why she's saying, uh, there's nothing I can do with a hoarse voice. There's other lyrics as the song comes to a close where she says, feeling the distance of this breath somehow, I love you so much. Our shadow starts to move and dissolves in the in the early in the early hours. Yeah, you can tell this song is definitely a love track. It's meant to be, you know, like romantic. It's also meant to be sad, you know, like a heartbreaking type of tune. I noticed from the videography there's a lot of imagery, like 
you know they are playing in front of a rundown building a building that's destroyed to show like you know like a you know like a relationship yeah the relationship was had a foundation it was built but now it's breaking also you know saiki singing alone in the train you know is that is symbolic of loneliness and then you see uh, also the weather is very gloomy you notice it, the weather here is it looks like a storm is coming it looks like clouds have gathered up and it's about to start raining so i noticed this is also very symbolic of what the song is trying to convey and also the whole thing where they are walking throughout the city alone you know it, it conveys loneliness and thinking about you're walking while thinking about someone and i found this to be funny that this is like a soft you know rock ballad from bandmate but it still comes with a guitar solo that shreds as I've listened to more music from band made like the last time I listened to their brand new song Warning when you listen to Warning Warning starts off soft and then dives deep into like a hard rock sound yeah also here there is that contrast you tend to notice that the songs you know the song is generally having a soft rock feel you know like a soft rock ballad as uh, that comment that I I showed recently said but then it has a guitar solo a hard rock guitar solo yeah i found that to be so cool but made are always doing that in their song they take you in one direction with a certain feel and then boom bring you in this other direction with that with, with with another feel i found that to be really cool really cool contrast within the music video and the song itself and then i noticed the ending is very chilled it just suddenly you know cuts out and leaves you wanting more with also a bit of sadness and like nostalgia like something that happened that you're waiting to keep happening and i think that's the kind of emotion that bandmaid was trying to you know get out of you as the listener with this track and i found it to be such an amazing track it's something very different it's you know it's always different when you listen to bandmaid no song is ever really the same as the other one and the song is coming up with different feels different emotions also different ways of playing and also using different type of types of techniques you know the song starts this way and then ends sounding this way in a bandmate song all right so that is my review of daydreaming by bandmate so shout out to the last one to go who wrote me that comment and to everyone who checked out my previous review if you haven't checked it out i'm going to leave it on this screen as the video comes to an end thank you so much for watching i have reactions for bandmates so i'll also leave those ones on the screen make sure to check them out and i hope you enjoy cheers